Hey there, what's up? In today's episode of Road to AWS, we will be talking about what are the basic requirements of AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification, what are the expectations of the certification from you as an individual, the question weightage in the exam, and what's the scoring. Let's roll the intro. So if you are someone who actually works on AWS and has a responsibility to design products on the cloud architecture using AWS, this certificate is the best fit for you. It will help you design highly available cost effective applications and with the knowledge that you gain with this, you will be able to smartly use the features that AWS provides. So as I already mentioned here, like for individuals who perform a solution architect role, so have one or more years of hands-on experience designing highly available cost effective and fault tolerant systems, uh, which are scalable distributed systems on AWS. So uh, having said that, it's not a mandate that freshers or inexperienced persons can't take this certificate. The only thing is that in a big organization where you have architects already working, maybe you may not get the opportunity, but having this knowledge gives you the edge over others. So what are the things that the certificate demands of you? So how to architect and deploy secure and rob robust applications on AWS technologies. So uh, you need to gain the knowledge on how to do this using AWS and the certificate, the questions on the certificate will be surrounded on that itself. Provide implementation guidance based on the best practices. So in any organization, the first and foremost role is to provide a solution and if you have uh, read the tutorials properly and you have read the white papers properly and you have the knowledge on how basically the services work you can give a proper solution and you can provide the best practices as well based on the knowledge that you gain from them so define solutions using architectural design principle based on the customer requirement so this is the third point but this is the first and foremost and maybe this is the one of the points that the so the organization would ask of you uh, to basically keep the customer's requirement in mind and design an architecture which will help which will be actually which will help and which will be close to what the customer requirements are so there is one more thing that is very important to note is a new version of the aws certified solutions architect associate exam will be available in march 2020 so there might be some changes so try to give this exam before that itself i am sure that you will be giving it before that but if there are any changes that come up uh, i'll be putting this across in the channel what are the recommended knowledge and experience that you need to have so first point that we have here is hands-on experience using computer networking storage and database AWS services so don't worry about this in the tutorial session we will be covering all of this like how to use the EC2 how to uh, use the load balancer how to use the uh, route 53 and everything and the database part as well so this point will be covered undoubtedly so hands-on experience with AWS deployment and management services don't worry about this we'll be covering this as well and understanding of the global infrastructure service so based on the regions that AWS provide we will be having a hands-on on how to uh, put them on different locations so this will be covered uh, and understanding of security feature and tools that AWS provides and how they relate to traditional services uh, basically like the security groups and other things that uh, AWS provides we will be having a look at that also so this is basically an overview of the recommended knowledge and experience that you have uh, that you should have before giving the exam so the next thing that we have here is important things to remember about the exam SAA C01 SAA means solutions architect associate C01 is the code for the exam and uh, basically the format will be of multiple choice and you will get a question a scenario and there will be like four multiple choice answers and basically these scenarios are basically a way for the certificate to judge you that whether you have understood the concept or not you cannot say that a will be the right answers immediately because there might be scenarios that particularly relate to the question that they have asked so you cannot randomly guess like yeah a will be the answer or b will be the answer you have to go through all the questions and all the answers that they have put each uh, and read them one by one so that you need to understand like what scenario fits to the particular uh, question so the type of exam is associate and the cost is around 150 us dollars and we have the practice exams as well which you can get on the aws site for 20 dollars so when you convert that into rupees it is around uh, 10,667 on December 9th so time that you have is 130 minutes so there will be 65 questions and you will get 130 minutes to complete them so the delivery method is basically like going to a test center and giving the exam that's what I would advise you to go to a test center and give the exam there are a lot of test centers available across India uh, you can log into the site of AWS certifications and uh, we'll be looking into this in the upcoming tutorials on how to book or schedule a particular exam don't worry about that and the languages that are available are like 
like Japanese, English, Korean and simplified Chinese. So we are, are going to be going with English, isn't it? So the next thing is the results and exam weightage distribution. So there are like five domains that you can see. One is the design resilient architecture that carries the highest number of marks, like the 34% of the marks that you have and uh, defined performance architecture covers 24%, specify secure arch application and architectures covers 26%, design cost optimized architecture covers 10% and define operationally excellent architecture covers 6%. So total we have 100%, uh, but the results are uh, basically the scores that you get are from uh, 100 to 1000 and the cutoff is basically 720. So when you go for any certification exam in any test center, uh, they will give you a AWS registration ID and once you complete the exam, uh, you will be uh, given or uh, you will be asked for a, to fill a particular survey, how your experience has been, how many days you have been preparing for this and ultimately once you complete the survey and then you will get the result immediately whether you have passed or you have failed but they'll not give you the score if you have passed yeah, the scores and everything will come like one or two days later so these are the few important things that you need to understand and remember so these things when once we are close to going for the uh, exam i'll be having another session where uh, we will discuss all about this hey we have completed the third part of road to aws in the next episode we will be starting off with aws services so that's really important and you don't want to miss any of that so if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe subscribe to that hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos that i post here and do like do subscribe do comment on what you liked what you didn't and that's all from my side today signing off <laughs>